This is Doc. Where's Doc? Well, his real name's Jesse, but my son calls him Doc. Not a doctor. He's an aspiring amateur welder. Like, these are going to be the worst welds you've ever seen. <laughs> but really, he just wants to be in a band that only jives. See, this is the wrong For that moment, you're just, you're just jive. Me and you, just looking at each other. He says that he likes to party, but whenever me and him get together, we just end up building something. So, that is exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to make big wheels fit on a small car. Check it out. Like, I want you to, like, we need to, like, just call it, hey guys, I have a friend that has a welder. He's not a welder. <laughs> he just has one. He just has one. <laughs> Everybody told me I needed a welder, and he <laughs> has one. <laughs> What you think about that? Mm-hmm. You gotta spin it. And spin it. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. The whole thing. Bring the whole thing. Yep. Can you do it? Ow! Use both hands. No. Use both your hands. No. You can do it. You can do it. You're strong enough. Here, I'll take that. No! Okay, well, you can hold that. Can you grab the camera and bring it to me? You can do it. Oh, Alright, well, this is a rough shot. Oh, we were close. Uh, oh. 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 
Okay. So I removed this cover so that I could see. Ugh. What do you call this? The steering rack. So I can see my steering rack and there is a problem. Uh, this boot is split, so I'm gonna have to replace that soon. Not today, but I'll do it soon. And uh, this one over here looks pretty good. So with access to these, I'm gonna try to slide these off. I don't have a small tripod. I need to get one of those. Is it? Now don't pull daddy's glove off. Hey, can you hand me a tool? Dad, do. Thank you. So what I did is I grabbed this, this screw with some pliers and just ran it out from the bottom. And that seems to have worked. So I'm gonna try to move that. Yeah, so I've definitely taken the tension off of the boot. These boots are really dry. I'm gonna have to do new ones for sure. So I'm gonna keep working on this and see if I can't get it to come off. Okay. Some of you guys have asked if I was gonna do any engine modifications. Look out buddy, back up. Uh, I want to just show you guys what we're working with. It's very dirty. I'll do a full feature on this in another episode after I've cleaned it up. But for you that are a little bit more dedicated to the channel, um, it's got a big turbo from ATS. That's an HKS a sequential blow-off valve, K&N filter. There's an intercooler over there. It's upgraded, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, it was done before I got the car. The injectors are 500cc super injectors. It's got a... Uh, tile external wastegate back there and uh and then some other supporting mods that gold is just that gold is just that heat reflective tape stuff but uh but yeah it's pretty anyway it's pretty fast um it's a fun little car to drive and it's actually super reliable i've never had a single issue with this car um, so I have no doubt it'll start right back up when the time comes. Anyway, so that's enough of that. Just wanted to show you guys what was going on in the, in the back. Whoop, let's not do that, buddy. Here. Come on, let's go over here. We gotta do this. So I turned the wheel all the way to the left. Okay, so here's my thought. There's no rack limiter on this car. I can't remember how tight the turning radius is, but I'm gonna bet that it's pretty tight. So I'm gonna try putting rack limiters on this to keep the wheels from rubbing on the inside with these bigger tires. If it drives me nuts, I'll go to a 35 series tire, no big deal. Um, but, uh, but I wanna try this first because it's almost free and uh, I already have these tires and I'd like to be able to use them a little bit. If not, it's not the end of the world, but this would be really nice. So I'm gonna try this and uh, see if we can't come up with something cool. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah.
All right, so this is a one half inch PVC pipe. That fits on there as a steering rack spacer. So what I have to do now is put the wheels on, turn them all the way until they start to hit, back them off a little bit, and then measure that distance. And I think that's gonna give me the width for my spacers on each side. All right, so both wheels are back on with the one inch spacer. Got my helper working with me. What you doing? They've got the one inch spacer uh, on there, which is what I really want to run for width purposes. You can see it's much wider than stock. Let's get over it. There we go, uh, which is pretty cool. So now I'm going to turn them all the way to full lock. Well, as far as full lock is going to be now and uh, figure out how much of a spacer I'm going to need in there. Let's see, this boot is off, so let me go this way first. You see, I still got a pretty decent amount of steering angle. Right there is where I'm hitting on the other side. I'm going to make sure this wheel's spinning freely. Good. All right, and then I just want to test this real quick. This bumper I didn't trim as much, so I'll do that. And then this fender's got a little plastic trim in there that I'm just gonna remove. So I went inside and grabbed a tape measure. We're gonna get under the car and figure out ooh, how big our spacer needs to be. Or hopefully how small our spacer needs to be. Ugh. All right, so there you can see, normally the spacer would bottom out right, or the steering rack would bottom out right here. I need it to fill that gap. So, take my measuring tape. And we're looking at. What is that? Three eighths. So, on further inspection, this boot has never been replaced. It still had the original clamp. So, I went ahead and broke that. I'm going to go ahead and replace this. You can see it's in like three different pieces. So, I'm going to go pick up a boot and replace this while I'm under here and while I've got all this stuff taken apart. It'll just take uh, pulling the tie rod and then sliding the boot over. It's not a big deal. I want to go ahead and take care of that uh, before that causes too much damage. But now I can see this gap right here. We're going to measure it again. Three-eighths of an inch. Right there. That's good. So they're the same. Now we just got to cut our spacers. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. Show me your baseball slide. You got to slide in the grass. Slide in the grass. Ready? Count. Go. Three, go. Slide. Well, you gotta slide like you did inside. Do the baseball slide. Go again. <laughs> there you go. Good slide, dude. Good job. <laughs> slide. <laughs> safe! He's safe! for the other side. Alright, so for the moment of truth, let's see, we'll push this all the way to full lock now, and it rotates fine. The sound you hear are the brakes, they've got rust on them from sitting, and then this one, ignore the squeaking, I've got to cut that, and this, that just needs to come off. Okay, so this one's at full lock, but it's still, go the other way.